Okay. Uh, thank you, Adam, for introducing. Uh, like, uh, I would like to talk about uh, my research total liquor. For the title, actually nothing. Just my advisor like uh, come up with this thing, and uh, this is a catchphrase. Like, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, then this. So I really thank my coworker Ang and Dan. Okay, I'm gonna start with motivation. Okay, memory is not a safe place uh, for sensitive data anymore. Like, uh, like memory disclosure attack uh, frequently makes the headline from the cold water attack and the recent side channel attack of a meltdown inspector. So unprivileged attacker with those technique can access sensitive data from device by taking the device or simply sending the packet. So sensitive data should be deleted once they are no longer used. In reality, crypto libraries have long recognized this uh, practice. Like, uh, for example, OpenSSL is well engineered to follow this practice by providing their own cleanup function, and they call this function whenever sensitive data is no longer used. So last year, I presented here to like a, a problem about uh, secret retention. So I love you to read my paper, but this time I want to discuss about uh, user input password especially in Android. User input passwords are very important. Stolen passwords cause widespread of damage because we usually use the same or similar passwords throughout sites. So there are a lot of applications that still want our password. So like, uh, yeah, we just believe them and giving our password into their like uh, uh, widget. But here's our question. Does each of them manage user input password well? Also, Android framework itself uh, supports enough protection. So, are they safe on the memory disclosures attack uh, specifically? To answer those questions, uh, we started with a preliminary study to see if password exposure is a real problem in Android. We selected 11 most popular applications and critical applications. Some of them are installed more than a billion times. Some uh, is very critical, like Chase Bank and Password Manager. We installed and uh, launched them one by one and uh, log in with our credentials. And we simulate uh, like memory disclosure attack by dumping the memory and uh, checking if there is any clear text to pass the memory. Unfortunately, the, we were successfully able to multiple instance of passwords like uh, after login throughout all the critical application. This is bad. For example, the password manager, the user input is a master key that is uh, used to access sensitive data of a user, banking account, and the website to passwords. What about unlocking process? The user input is the lock process, lock screen password that is uh, used to unlock the like, uh, screen lock, also decrypt the whole encrypted file system. Moreover, password strings are easily recognizable from the binary dump. For example, Facebook, the password uh, comes after like ASCII, like a uh, password prefix, and Tumblr, like a uh, password comes after UTF-16 prefix of uh, X of uh, more password-like thing. So the attacker don't need any deeper forensic analysis, just they need one memory disclosure vulnerability like a Nexus 5X that allows the attacker to dump a full memory dumping uh, just uh, connecting the USB very short time, even though phone is locked. This is a very old problem, of course, still problematic. For example, OSDI paper seven years ago did exactly the same thing, what we did. But at the time, even majority were free from this problem. So here is uh, our goal. We want to answer two questions. Why? What caused this password retention so long, even or while the threat from the memory disclosure attack is ever increasing? Also, can we solve this problem uh, effectively? Well, it is un in, you know, avoidable to like having password uh, after login. To answer this question, we analyzed the Android framework and the various applications comprehensively, and we finally found the root causes. After our finding, we conclude that practical solution is possible, like to reduce the password after login with minor change and minor performance overhead. I quickly jumping, it, jumping into our finding of root cause of password retention. So this is under the framework stack. This is uh, UI, and if we give a password that goes through different components uh, yeah, in, uh, from the like under the framework, and finally it is displayed to the screen and also delivered to the application itself. After login, 
ideally, all the passwords should be removed after memory. However, we see three components still have the user password unnecessarily. I'm explaining quickly one by one. Firstly, Android framework itself a problem. So default keyboard application buffer recent input, uh, even though this is the password, uh, this is from the password we get when they knowing about that. So for example, if we log in the Facebook with my accounts, apart from Facebook app itself, keyboard holding my two passwords. This is bad because this is only open source from the Google, so it may influence other keyboard app vendors. So we subsequently investigated the popular app, uh, keyboard application, and unfortunately, this is a general uh, like a trend. So more seriously, one Chinese keyboard app has uh, more than my 100 Facebook passwords after logins. Also, like Android framework uh, shows lack of user input password protection in UI implementation. Uh, there, there is no dedicated class for password widget. So there is 12,000 lines of a huge text view uh, that is uh, responsible for both normal entry and password entry. This is uh, like a general uh, nature because usually they share like a common uh, like a characteristic. However, they missing necessary secure handling for password. For example, the widget holds the password even though the UI is going to the background, invisible, uh, alive long less there. Another bad example is a pro API design. They have like a, like a get text API that return the password to the developer as a character sequence. That is a kind of a string. So developers are guided to store password in the string object. This is bad. Why? The standard security guide said that string is unsuitable for storing sensitive data. Because we know string is immutable, there is no method to override the string of contents. You only just make them null, then still there somewhere in the memory. So basic guide said always you should collect the sensitive data in a character array instead. But this, uh, like Android API, is totally opposite direction from the basic security rule. We compared with the password widget in desktop Java, like a Swing API. They had dedicated API. Like they also said, get text to string API. That's bad, but they deprecated this thing in 20 years ago. So 20 years ago, they provided secure get password API returning character, and they recommended that return the character password should be cleared after use. But after 20 years later now, Android, Android say contents of password should not be modified. So this is totally Android missing something about security in terms of user input password. So also Android application has a lot of problems like the lack of the support from the like Android framework naturally lead developer to implement authentication routine from scratch. But we know each developer has different level of awareness and experience in security. So no wonder we see various bad practices. As previous many studies, they just sending the raw password into files or through network. Also we found the noticeable thing is that widespread use of string uh, password. Surprisingly, all the application use string password except to one password manager. Also this is related to bad API design of Android. So I'm going to move to the solution. So we identify all the cause, but uh, solving the problem is another challenge because the identified cause should be addressed all together. We have two strategies for the practical solution. For the Android framework, we uh, provide a patchy, more uh, secure solution, such as secure text view. And uh, for the developers of various mistakes, we suggest the, uh, like uh, we need to encourage the best practice like uh, Use a character array password, clear the buffer of text view after login, uh, the, like uh, derive the strong key and use it, and remove all the password after login. But we want to go one more step to provide the abstraction for the best practice. So I have only limited time, so I only focusing on the second idea, the key exporter API. So after analysis, we conclude that the developer's password misuse is uh, inevitable as long as developer directly access the password. 
So even critical application makes uh, at least a couple of mistakes. On the other hand, the purpose and the use, uh, like a pattern of using input password is the same throughout the application. Developer repeats a similar logic. So what if we provide the things that makes it easy for developer to do the right thing? For example, login button is a click. All the developers start from this routine, like getting password from the password widget. Then they do some propagation, checking the strength of the password. Then finally, they derive the keys, strong hashing kind of key, and then they're using them, and the password is not used. So this boring routine, but critical routine, can be abstracted. So instead of starting here, what, what if we give what develop actually need at the very first time, combining the password widget with the crypto primitive? So picture change like that. Login button is a click. We just create a key exporter, binding with the password widget. For example, if we want the HMAC, we create a HMAC uh, like a key exporter. Then we request the HMAC like uh, from the key exporter. Everything is the same. So if you see here, developer don't need to access the password if we provide a set of APIs. So behind of the key exporter, like uh, passwords are managed automatically and clean up automatically. So for the developer, less coding, but more secure. So we implemented this idea. We like uh, patched the Android framework and our, like, we implemented a prototype of a secure text view as an extension of a text view. We fixed the like, lock screen processes and the Latin IME keyboard application. We built this on the Android 8. That was the latest one uh, when I submitted the paper. Also, we implemented the key exporter API, uh, like a standalone library. Uh, our prototype supports strong and popular key derivation functions, and we also support to take the advanced uh, like, uh, key agreement that uh, like uh, invented by crypto com uh, guys. Like, uh, actually, that is what we should to use for secure password authentication. So we evaluated in terms of two points. How effective can our solution fix password retention? Also, key exporter is generally applicable to different types of application. So we evaluate after integrating key exporter with various applications. The first one is naive sample that just send the raw password to the server. There is no secure feature ever. This is the worst case. So after login, more than 20 passwords in the memory. Second one is a more secure one using HMAC based challenge response protocol. And third one is a real secure processes, unlocking process that get user input and hashing it with the S script and send it to the trust zone to verify the user very securely. But still they fail to remove all the passwords, leaving seven passwords. Lastly, we tested the open source password with more than 40,000 lines of uh, popular uh, password manager that shows a lot of secure coding. For example, they overwrite the password more than three times after login, but still they made some mistake, leaving more than 10 passwords in memory after login. So after applying our key exporter and secure text view, we removed all the passwords after login, so our solution is effective. We also tested with a, like a closed source without key exporter, without modifying the application, just running on the uh, like a modified Android framework. We tested the Yelp login with the Facebook API. Ba basically, it has three passwords after lo login. But uh, applying on the modified framework, we re removed one password, but still two is there. And we found that this two uh, password is not Yelp, but in the Facebook API. So Facebook implementation should be fixed, uh, such as like a key export idea. So conclusion, we analyzed Android framework and various applications, and we identified the root cause. So that can be like uh, helping other like uh, researchers who are same interested with us. Also, we developed a practical solution like a secure text view and key exporter. Especially key exporter is a very simple like uh, abstraction layer, but we believe that once it is adopted, it makes change like uh, preventing developer by like uh, password misuse. Okay, thank you. I'm happy to take any question. Uh, 
Uh, hi, Ben Stock, whoop, sorry. Uh, ben Stock from CISPA, thanks uh, for the talk. Wondering about, uh, can you go back two slides or three slides? No, just yeah. Two. Which Next one, ah, stop. Sending the raw password to the server. How can you still achieve that if you use the key exporter? Because you said there's no more raw password, right, that you can access. Oh, so your question is how we fix this uh, yeah, NIBO so app, yeah. NIBO sample. Okay, good question. Like, uh, thank you for the question. Like, uh, this is a very NIBO sample. So actually, this uh, sending the like uh, uh, low password to the server. On the other hand, the server is like uh, getting the password and uh, like uh, generating generating hash value mm -hmm. and checking that hash value with the, the hash value in the DB. So we just simply make. Uh, Using the like uh, HMAC key exporter, so instead of sending the password, we just uh, modify the th like six lines of code, then then they just sending the instead of sending the password, they just sending the like uh, HMAC. Also, we change the server a couple of lines, like a, instead of getting password, they just getting HMAC, so they just comparing. Okay, but on the Android market, how many apps are there where this is actually happening? So you're sending a raw password. I'm just wondering how many applications needed to be changed on the server side. Actually, yeah, yeah that, that, that's a great question, yeah. The, but we didn't do any large scale analysis, yeah. So we don't know, we just uh, test the open source samples. So yeah, this, that's, that can be the future work. Like, uh, I didn't see any like statistic numbers uh, from the previous paper. So yeah, mm, yeah, okay. I can tell anything at this okay. moment. It's just that I know from the web that 95% of websites will take a, a plain text password and then hash it on the server side. Oh, really? And again, that's from the web. I'm no, not knowledgeable about uh, the Android ecosystem so much. Um, I, I don't know, but uh, usually, like, uh, application, I found the Facebook where they just, uh, like, uh, concatenate, um, like, uh, like, building URL, uh, including passwords, mm -hmm. and they just sending them to the server because we believe HTTPS. So maybe I believe that a lot of application do the same pattern, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Like, uh, okay, but it would be interesting to look into, I guess. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so let's thank our speaker. Okay, thank you.